So Cyberpunk 2077, my most anticipated game this year and one of my most anticipated games ever. People are wondering about what the progress for that game's like, if it's still going to make the September release date amidst the ongoing circumstances. And all of that is going to be detailed in today's story alongside how CD Projekt Red performed in 2019 financially. Now back in March 16th, 2020, CD Projekt did say that due to the ongoing crisis, they are shifting to remote work only and that uh, they are intent and are still on the path to bringing Cyberpunk out to us in September, that that plan has not changed as a result of current events. And then beyond that, uh, just yesterday on April 8th, 2020, CD Projekt Red talked about how they performed in 2019 and they broke some records and they just did really well that year especially as a result of an unprecedented and incredible resurgence on the part of Witcher 3, a game that continues to be very popular even years and years after its launch. So here is what this blog post on the official CD Projekt Red website had to say. The CD Projekt Group posted 521 million Polish currency in 2019 sales revenues, which is 44% more than in the preceding year. This is mostly due to excellent sales of The Witcher 3, including its new Nintendo Switch release and the launch of Gwent on mobile devices. The group's consolidated net profit increased by 60% compared to 2018 topping 170 million Polish currency. It's crazy to think that Witcher continues to sell this well, but Witcher 3 really is a special game with a whole lot of positive word of mouth. The recent uh, Switch release certainly helped with that, But even more so, the uh, Witcher Netflix show releasing boosted Witcher sales as a whole, both the novels by Andrzej Sapkowski and the games. And so you saw on Steam this incredible resurgence where in January 2020, the game peaked at 103,329 concurrent players, which is even more than the launch numbers of 92,268 back in May 2015. And these are just Steam stats. No doubt that PS4 and Xbox versions saw a similar type of uptick in the number of players who were engaging with this title. The blog post continues. Here's a quote from Piotr, I'm, I'm going to butcher that, but the vice president and CFO of CD Projekt, he said, both with regard to sales and the group's net result, the fourth quarter of 2019 was the best final period of the year in our history. We are extremely pleased with the unceasing popularity of The Witcher 3, especially given the fact that the game will be celebrating its fifth anniversary in just a couple of weeks. The game's five years old and a single player game with that not a live service and it continues to gain such strong traction the blog post continues to continue to reach new fans in october we the witcher 3 appeared on nintendo switch while gwent was released on ios devices strong sales of the witcher and its debut on new hardware platforms contributed to our net earnings and the group's net profitability which increased to 34 percent in the past year And then beyond that, they talked a bit about their expenditures, noting that they incurred record expenditures on development of new games and technologies at 165 million Polish currency. The expenditures, the majority of it likely went into Cyberpunk 2077. Then on 31st December 2019, the group's cumulative balance of expenditures on development projects stood at 386 million Polish currency. So essentially they made more money than they spent and that resulted in a good amount of profits, which is obviously what any company wants. Uh, That balance of expenditures that allow for new developments, but uh, making enough revenue to sustain the company and to grow as a company. The blog post then proceeds by quoting Adam Kaczynski, president and CEO of the CD Projekt Group, who talks about the marketing campaign of Cyberpunk, how they attended in over 20 gaming industry events spread across four continents, how they won over 200 awards with Cyberpunk, and how the trailer has been viewed over 50 million times times since its release in June 2019. And that's not just YouTube views, but also across all of social media. And then other significant developments include them having purchased the commercial campus located in Warsaw, which had served as 
They are headquarters for 20 years and where the group intends to continue expanding its operations. And they also renewed an agreement with uh, Andrzej Sapkowski, the creator of the Witcher series, in order to establish a framework for future cooperation. Recall that there was some back and forth between CD Projekt and Andrzej Sapkowski, with Sapkowski trying to take legal action against CD Projekt Red, despite the contract they had previously established. But they came together to the table and came up with an agreement that that both were satisfied and so they're moving forward and that's good to hear. And then finally, they once again emphasize that even though there is an ongoing outbreak, they're working from home, everyone CD Projekt, they have been doing so since mid-March, and quote from Adam Kaczynski, there is no shortage of motivation and we also possess all the tools needed to facilitate remote work. We have been operating in this mode for over three weeks and to date results confirm that we can carry on with all our operations without major disruptions. Our plans haven't changed. We are steaming towards the September release of cyberpunk adds Adam Kaczynski. In other words, there is no plans to delay the game as a result of the ongoing crisis. The transition to remote work has been smooth, and they're saying that it hasn't affected their workflow in a huge way, not to the point where they'd have to delay it even beyond the already delayed September release date. And to finish things off, GOG also did pretty well, posting a 162 million Polish currency uh, revenue another high water mark according to CD Projekt. Now beyond what was reported in that blog post, CD Projekt also engaged in a call with investors where they discussed more about what's going on with Cyberpunk 2077. The following information was reported by this article from Games Industry. The article begins with CD Projekt Red is currently comfortable that Cyberpunk 2077 will hit its September 17th, 2020 release date. So CD Projekt Red is not outright 100% confirming that there won't be a delay because you never know what might happen, but they are saying that they're confident that they will see a September 17th, 2020 release date, that that won't be pushed back further. And then it reads right here that Mikhail Nowakowski said that the game is already in a complete form, so it's really far along in development, and it's all about essentially polishing, bug testing, refining things. The only difficulty the team has faced in the transition to remote work, according to Nowakowski, is that there are some difficulties with the localization process, specifically with recording some of the actors. Indeed, the voiceover industry has also been hit by this ongoing crisis, by the pandemic, it's caused many people to have to shift to, you know, working at home, recording at home, or, you know, certain projects being pushed back or some difficulties arising. Certainly, it is inconvenient when certain studios are closed down and actors can't record with the directors in person and make that process much more smooth and much more in sync. And uh, Noah Kowski relayed that most of the studios are closed right now at least for the time being, and that is certainly the case. And so a lot of actors have had to record remotely from home, and just that whole setup is possible, but isn't quite as smooth or as intuitive as just everyone being in the same room and being on the same page. But, you know, everyone's trying to make do with what they have. And then beyond that, Noah Kowski proceeded with, however, we have managed to record the vast majority of the voiceovers, but there are always some last pickup sessions, and we're not very worried about that because that's something we can record even later and add in the form of a digital patch. So by the moment the customers actually buy the game in September, they will just download a file which would add the missing pieces of recordings, but that process has been hampered a little. It's not something we identified as a major, major risk, but this is literally the only thing that's on our radar everything else we are either already past that hurdle so we're not really impacted by it or things are progressing smoothly or business as usual so beyond some hurdles with pickup lines for certain recordings and voiceover lines they're not in any major issue based on their experience with remote work. And even as far as the voiceover recording issues and difficulties go when it comes to some of these pickup lines, they've already recorded most of the dialogue. The few dialogue they do have left to record are just, you know, little additions, little things here and there, re-recordings of certain things that they can do later. There's just time for them to be able to sort everything out. But aside from the voiceover stuff, everything else is going smoothly 
uh, because so much work has already been done with the game because development is so far along. It was also noted that the game has been submitted for ratings and that there was no expectation it would be unable to obtain ratings in major or non-major markets. And this is something that Adam Kaczynski posted about on Twitter, stating, very happy to share some progress on this. Cyberpunk 2077 has already been rated by the vast majority of ratings boards around the world. This was posted today, actually, April 9th, 2020. Going back to the Games Industry article, it was relayed once again that there are no plans to delay Cyberpunk at the moment, that they're pretty confident they'll be able to make that September deadline. And here's a quote from Noah Kowski. We're definitely not planning to move our dates because someone else is going to land in the window. So this is addressing concerns of September being a pretty busy month when it comes to major game releases and concerns of Cyberpunk 2077 seeing a lot more competition and potentially affecting sales that way. On that front, CD Projekt Red really isn't concerned with Noah Kowski saying you're never launching at a time that's exclusive to you. There is no such thing. September has always been a competitive period of time, and we've always been aware of that. If it becomes a tad bit more competitive, that's fine. We believe we're going to be launching with a title that's going to be a must-have title. Honestly, to me, it feels like Cyberpunk 2077 7 isn't the game that wants to avoid other titles, but rather other titles are the ones who want to steer clear of Cyberpunk 2077. I feel like no matter which month this game launches, the hype around it is so substantial that it is going to be the dominating game regardless of which month it releases, and it's just going to see incredible sales no matter what. And then Nowakowski affirmed that the company was unperturbed by the switch to an all-digital marketing strategy without E3 or other conferences, addressing the fact that G GDC, E3, and all of these major gaming events have all been either cancelled or pushed back as a result of the pandemic, with E3 in particular being cancelled outright. And as far as E3 specifically is concerned, they recently announced that E3's planned digital event in reaction to the cancellation of the show floor event, that has also been cancelled outright. And so there's just nothing E3 related happening this year at all. But this is something CD Projekt Red isn't terribly concerned about, saying that they had been planning for the possibility since mid-February. So yeah, given the digital and social media era we live in, word spreads around pretty quickly when it comes to announcements from major game companies like CD Projekt and major upcoming games like Cyberpunk 2077, which is why formats like Nintendo Direct have been so effective and much cheaper at that. So I would imagine that CD Projekt Red isn't all that terribly concerned about that shift to digital marketing. And this is something that Noah Kowski notes by stating, one has to remember that while E3 is super important, the conferences are presented to the vast majority of consumers in a digital format. So it looks like CD Projekt Red is looking forward to hosting their either own version of a CD Projekt press conference, a Cyberpunk 2077 conference, or they're just going to put out like a deep dive video like they did last time with commentary uh, over gameplay, and that's just going to spread like wildfire. I can only surmise that, you know, whatever marketing campaign they have in store will be fairly successful. And it's just the kind of game that markets itself due to CD Projekt Red's reputation with the work that they did with Witcher 3 and because of just how amazing this game looks. So looking forward to seeing all of that. But yeah, there you have it, folks. This is everything you need to know about some of the most recent announcements and reports from CD Projekt Red as far as how they did financially goes and as far as Cyberpunk 2077's development and updates on that front goes. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on all of this information. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.